Did you know you can go on safari in Disney World? It's called Disney's Wild Africa Trek, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Stick around. Ever since 2011, Disney has offered a guided VIP safari experience in Animal Kingdom. Last year, I had a chance to go with my kids. We took a bunch of pictures, we took a bunch of video, we had a really great time, and I'm gonna share this experience with you here. So let's dig into some of the details. So Disney bills this as a privately guided VIP expedition. And if that sounds expensive, it is. Depending on time of day and time of year, prices range from 189 to 249 per person plus tax. So definitely keep that in mind. But like anything else Disney, it really is top-notch service and experience. Some things to know before you go, and I'll put a link to the Disney site in the description below so you can check it out directly. But guests have to be eight years or older and at least 48 inches tall. You need to be ambulatory and they want you to be in good health. It's a three hour experience and there is a lot of walking around. Now the tours are run several times every morning, starting at 8 a.m. and going to 1.15 p.m. A new tour starts every 45 minutes. The earlier tours are more expensive and they book up faster, but those are the more desirable ones, uh, mostly because I think of the time of day and the heat. You're gonna be outdoors for the whole experience and starting the tour early, like 8 a.m. to being done by 11, is much better than being out there between noon and 3 p.m. So what do you need to bring with you? Well, you don't need much, and you really can't bring much with you. When you check in, and the check-in is right next to the entrance to Kilimanjaro Safaris, they'll give you a locker that you can use and store all of your valuables, and you really can't take much out on the safari tour with you. The number one reason being, they don't want you to drop anything into the animal habitats. So when you get there, they're going to set you up with a vest and safety harness. And then everything that you bring with you is gonna be strapped to that vest. So you definitely can bring your phone, uh, but it's gonna be attached to a strap and the strap is gonna be attached to your vest. They give you a water bottle. I'll show you the water bottle at the end of the video. You can take it home with you, it's really nice. But they give you the water bottle, they strap it to your vest also. You can bring a camera, but it has to be something that you can strap to your body. So for me, I usually just use a wrist strap. I couldn't use it, I had to use the full across the body strap this way there was no chance of the camera falling because there are parts in this tour where there's nothing between you and the animals. You're just really close to them and if you drop something, it's gonna drop right into the habitat. So along those lines with my camera, I could only bring the one lens attached to the camera. I couldn't bring anything else. So once your group is checked in and you get all your safety gear on and groups are small, they're probably 12 to 15 people per group. Once you have all your safety gear on, they also are gonna hook you up with a receiver and an earpiece. Uh, this way, while the tour guide is talking, you can always hear everything I said. You have the earpiece, they're going to talk into a microphone, you're never going to miss anything. And there was a whole team of cast members there helping you get everything set up and make sure everything was perfect before you head out. So there's two guides taking us out, and we start along the path, the Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail is the path. Um, and you, you just walk along for a little while, but then all of a sudden you have to veer off into uncharted country. Uh, you get to go through a break in the fence, uh, it's cast members only, and now you're venturing into a trail that goes kind of heads up over the berm um, and into a part of the park that you would never be able to go to if you weren't on this tour. And you find out pretty quickly the reason you have this safety gear on is because you're going to be getting really close to the animals. And by really close, I mean like standing on a ledge overlooking the hippopotamuses where if you took a step forward, you can fall right into their habitat. And it's really cool. So at each station, they have another cast member, an expert, you know, with that particular animal standing by, and they tell you all about the animal, about the feeding, about their habits, any questions that you have, they're right on top of it. And like I said, you're strapped in from behind, and you can just lean forward and lean right over uh, where these animals are. It's really pretty amazing. And you can take all the pictures you want as you go along. You can take video. But one of the great things about this uh, are the photos that you get as part of this package. So the tour guides have a camera with them. And then at stations along the way, there's other cast members standing by taking pictures of you as you interact with each other, as you interact with the cast members and with the animals. And at the end, you get a code to go online and you get all of these pictures for free. It's really great. So after feeding the hippos, we got to 
which really is the highlight of the whole thing, which is crossing the rope suspension bridge. Even though you know you're safe, you know, you're strapped to an overhead cable, um, it really is kind of breathtaking uh, to walk over this bridge. And there's two bridges that you have to walk over. And again, it's, it's Disney, it's an illusion, uh, but it really does feel like you're actually walking over um, something that is dangerous, even though it's not. Uh, and again, they took our pictures as we were walking across. The last section of rope bridge that you walk across, you're walking over the alligators, which is really cool. So after the rope bridge, you spend some time, again, really close to these alligators. I mean, you're just, you know, probably 20 feet away, but, you know, there's nothing between you and them. You're standing on a ledge overlooking them, and, you know, they're right there. It's really pretty amazing. And after that, you get into, you can take your safety gear off after that. Uh, then you get into your own safari vehicle. And it's not like the ones on the Kilimanjaro safari ride uh, that are all facing forward. This is, you know, one big area in the back with a bench going around and you know you're going through the safari ride the same ride that you're going through on the kilimanjaro safaris you're going through that same path but on this tour you're going to stop a lot more often you're going to spend a lot more time uh, just camped out in one spot watching the animals uh, there's a lot more flexibility and leeway as far as you know spending more time looking at certain animals than you have on the on the other ride so if, you know, the giraffes are being particularly friendly, uh, you know, we can pull over and just spend a lot of time there with them or any other animals. So halfway through that is the meal. Uh, now, if you've seen, you know, when you get to the part of the Kilimanjaro Safari ride where you go around uh, where the flamingos are in, uh, in the little pond there, uh, off to the right, there's a hut. There's like a grass hut uh, that you see. That's the eating area uh, for this tour. And it really is a nice facility. Everything is set up really beautifully. Uh, there's different meals as far as uh, whether you're going in the morning or the afternoon. The meals are different. Um, we did the morning one, and you open up this metal tin, and the food that's in there looks like nothing you've ever seen before. Uh, so it's kind of, you know, a little bit of bravery involved eating this stuff, but it really was very good. But the best part is the jungle juice. Uh, if you've never had jungle juice, and I know at Animal Kingdom you can get it at Tusker House, I think. Um, I don't know what it's made out of. Some kind of jungle stuff, I guess. But it's fantastic, and you could just all the jungle juice that you could drink. And by that time, two plus hours into the tour, you're hot, you're thirsty, and you can just indulge in jungle juice. And you hang out there for a while. It's nice to see you. Go, you could watch the safari vehicles going around the area by where the flamingos are, and you can see the elephants from there. And the guides come around and they'll talk to you and see if you have any other questions, and they'll take pictures of you while you're taking pictures. Uh, they give you binoculars, you can look around. It's That whole part of it's a really nice experience. And from there, it's back onto your own safari vehicle. Then you finish up right near where the Kilimanjaro safari vehicles finish up. And then when you're done, it's 11 o'clock, and now you're in the Animal Kingdom. You could do whatever you want. You can spend the rest of the day there. Oh, I didn't mention before that the price of these tickets does not include park admission. You need a separate park admission ticket uh, in order to get into the Animal Kingdom to go on this tour. Uh, so, but once you get off this, now you're in the animal kingdom, you can hang out there all day or go do whatever else you wanted to do. It's still early in the day. Uh, that's why I definitely recommend doing, uh, the earliest tour you can possibly do, but it was a lot of fun. Definitely a very memorable experience. Uh, we got a ton of great pictures, uh, and we just had a lot of fun and great memories. So if this was something that you were considering doing, I hope this video helped you out. If nothing else, you get this really cool water bottle out of it, but we really found this to be a really enjoyable, unique experience in Disney World. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click on the little notification bell this way you get notified every time I post a video. Thanks for coming along with me on this wild safari expedition, and I'll see you next time.